What's up guys, this is Derek aka Skyscope, here with my beautiful girlfriend Liz aka Lizumaki, and we're here bringing you our highly anticipated, or at least we're really excited to bring this to you guys. This is our one fourth bunny figure video. Uh, so I'm sure that you guys all know that bunny figures and especially one fourth bunny figures in the anime theater community are kind of a big deal. It's kind of the star kind of holy grail type uh, figure that people want their waifus to be in. Typically the company that makes the licensed anime waifus that we know from our favorite animes is Freeing. Yep, they make the Freeing One Fourth Bunny series that is pretty much the most popular bunny series that there is in the figure collecting space other than the binding figure collecting series. Um, but today we're going to be showing you guys all of the bunnies that we have in our collection. We have six one-fourth bunnies in our collection, five of which are owned by my beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go through them all. And uh, yeah, do you want to just kind of talk about the bunny figure kind of collecting journey that we've been on? Um, yeah, so we'll start it out more with when I talk about my first bunny that I got. I wasn't really into the bunny figures at first until, not even until after I got her, but like until I got another one, which we'll mention. Um, I'm trying to move away from freeing just a little bit just because of, you know, the prices going up and I'm trying to move towards like owning more binding bunny figures for myself just like more native figures in general but I am I do have like two of the binding bunnies pre-ordered and then actually for the first time today he got his first binding bunny which is the first that either of us have ever had so it's pretty exciting actually but we'll go ahead and get into <laughs> the figures uh, in chronological order that we got them. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoy it. All right, so the first bunny that I actually got myself, um, well, I guess that we both got, um, I wasn't even actually after her because she was a bunny. Um, her pose is a little bit different than the normal, just like standing pose that there a lot of them are in. Um, she is in more of a suggestive mm -hmm. position. Um, which you'll see soon, but the first one I got was the No Game No Life Jabril, um, the Great War version. I do like the other version, I can't remember the name of it, but it's where her eyes are as hearts. Um, that one, it seemed a little bit too much to have both, but I really wanted the bare-legged version of the Great War bunny that came out. Um, honestly, she's just beautiful. Um, her wings, I like, I love the color. I like love the color of the no game no life figures in general or the anime um he can also contest to that but um i will say i wanted the bare legged version because she does have a tattoo on one of her legs and i wanted that to be like a little bit more noticeable than with the tights um her face is beautiful i love that she's holding the card and this overall it wasn't what pushed me into collecting bunnies but definitely opened my eyes to like one fourths in general yeah, I really enjoy this bunny figure. Of course, she's in that, you know, suggestive, busting it open <laughs> pose. Uh, but the, you know, coloring on her hair, and I'll always say this, the color palette that No Game No Life figures always use is always pretty much just on the mark for what I like, is that soft palette. I like how her hair goes from that soft pink to like the light green. And little tip about the hair, so it does lay on her base of where she's mm. going to be resting so you kind of have to be selective about the shelves that you put her on and yeah i do really like the coloring on her bunny suit and her face is just really nice and her pupils are really cool you know? <laughs> yep she's great all around and the next figure on our list is the one fourth yumiko jabami from kakeguri by freeing and i do really enjoy this figure a lot uh, if you have seen Kakeguri, uh, you know that the way that this figure is portrayed is very nice. Uh, it's kind of different than a lot of the other free bunny figures by almost the widest margin. So she does have the kind of dealer's uh, overcoat over her bunny suit as well, which is a nice touch. And also she has the playing cards in her hand. Um, I really do. I I'm a fan of the face. I know that a lot of people um are 
questioning it. Questioning the face and are like haters of it, but I will say Time. that if you actually watch the Kakaguri like anime and stuff. 80% of the time, this pretty much is just Yumiko's face. She doesn't always have the pretty much like gambling orgasm face that everybody pretty much knows her for. Would this bunny have been a little bit better for it? Yes. yes. Okay. But I do really enjoy this figure anyways. I like the deep red that is in her dress. And I really like how her hair flows and comes down, uh, comes down her back. Yeah, this was actually the first bunny that did get me into kind of like, okay, maybe I should just like give freeing a little bit of a chance other than just Jabril. Um, like he said, like I think the colors are well. I love the sculpt of her hair. Um, I love that Freeing was like, all right, we're going to give you some cards with this one. But they at least tried to like play into the purpose and of the anime a little bit, which is respected of them. Right. Um, she's just perfect all around and i was excited to have her as my first like standing one fourth bunny i guess right because you know jabril is kind of busting it open so to have the one fourth bunny that's just like really tall is like kind of the staple in the bunny figure collecting yeah. space and i think that's kind of what set it off is because when they're standing and they're so tall they they really take up a lot of presence in your collection and a lot of uh good presence on your shelf all right, so the next bunny we're going to be talking about is Raftalia from Shield Hero, um, her one-fourth bunny. This one is beautiful, and I know Derek will go into more of it later because he does really like this one too. Um, I actually got her aftermarket. She's the only one that I got aftermarket, but I was on the hunt for her. Um, I ended up getting her at Katsukan Friday. <laughs> I saw her out for like $500, and I was like, there's no way. And then um, the figure gods were on my side and Saturday I saw her for about 300 and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get her. And it was the first time I've ever spent that much money on a figure at a convention, but I think it was well worth it. Um, she's a beautiful addition to our bunnies. I love her hair, her tail. I love that they didn't give her bunny ears and just kept her like regular ears on her. Freeing has a wonderful job at depicting, in my opinion, characters' faces, and I think they did great on that. Um, I love her pose, it's still cute enough and sweet while not like over-sexualizing Raftalia too much because obviously a bunny suit is sexualized regardless. Um, and it, it really is just, just a nice overall figure and I'm glad I was able to pick her up. Right, so like this one said, I do really love this figure a lot. I think that uh, one thing that Freeing does really, really well is captivate uh, how the characters look, uh, just bringing them to life into one fourth bunny figure form. Um, and it, this looks exactly like Raftalia. The one thing that I love about this figure is how they made her uh, raccoon girl ears, her <laughs> bunny ears, and her tail. Uh, her bunny tail you know they and the tail itself is sculpted really really well and it's really solid um she's a really heavy figure because of the tail but you know once you it, it's hard to kind of get the tail uh into her backside a little bit but once you get it fitted it's a really solid figure and yeah. it's uh really well made i like her pose i like that she has like that dark red uh mm -hmm bunny suit on and you know just a really nice pose and i just love it he's cool <laughs> all right so next <laughs> we have a little ball of fury um it's taiga isaka from toradora her one fourth b style she is our smallest of course not smallest bunny girl. Yeah. <laughs> standing up because raftalia and jabril would still be taller than her if they right. were standing um she is such a cutie i had a little bit of like a few gripes with the figure when the prototype first came out only because i was i felt betrayed by freeing for that yellow base i love the yellow in her bow tie and everything else like i love the white on her and things like that and i especially loved her shoes the little ankles but the yellow base i don't know why it just was not giving what it needed to be giving for me you have a solid <laughs> color base and it's not just like black or even just white Clear. you're like 
Mm, and is when it's a uh, when it's a uh, color like yellow that's just like a little polarizing. It's like not everybody loves yellow like that. It can look a little cheesy sometimes. Yeah. But overall, I kept her pre-order because it's Tyga, of course. We all have been praying for just cute figures of her in general. Not that her older figures are ugly, but you know, just cute newer figures of her in general. And so I obviously had to get her. Um, like I said, I think the white is beautiful. Um, her hair is one of my favorite hair sculpts out of the bunnies, like even out of the bunnies that I don't have or don't own. Um, her hair is one of my favorite sculpts, again, with the likeness with Freeing. In terms of that, they may um, add a little body to their characters, but I'm glad that they kept Taiga like, at her like natural weight and things like that. But their likeness with her hair and her face, again, they just did a, a 10 out of 10 job. And I, I'm really glad that I kept her pre-order and brought her home. Yeah, I really do enjoy the the Taiga Bunny figure. Mm -hmm. Her hair is very, very nice. Like I said, I'm a sucker for figures with uh, really well-shaded brown hair. Mm -hmm. And I do like the shading on her bunny uh, outfit as well. Yeah. Like, as you can see, it's white, but it kind of fades into like a soft gray um, on the darker parts of where it should be shaded. And I mean, yeah, it, I love her pose. It just captivates her Sundari character a whole ton that she's in that growling kind of target tiger pose. Really nice figure. We're not gonna get into what they did with the tiger version of her um, freeing, you know, thanks, just thanks. I'm just, I'm just saying. So they, anyway. They could have just added separate parts to the white version. We're not gonna get just into get it. the tiger it's, stuff in the white version. It's been version. said too many times that we have two other figures to go through. <laughs> All right, last but not least, but last for freeing bunnies, um, was my most recent peak pickup, <laughs> peak up, pick up, <laughs> was Xi'an from Slime. Um, like we said earlier, I have cosplayed her before. I actually wanted to cosplay her, but when I saw that she was getting a bunny figure, I was like, okay, at nighttime, you know, like at the rave, I'm wearing her bunny figure. <laughs> um, I have been waiting for this figure for so long. Xion is one of my favorite characters from Slime. I just love her. She's, just, she's strong and beautiful, and she's repping for the tall girls out there. This figure is by far the biggest Frank bunny I've ever seen. She just stands really strong. Um, I love that about her. I love her ears. Um, I love that they did the white in the middle. I think it like just adds a lot of really good character. Um, again, her hair and face likeness is great. I was a little concerned about the purple on purple, like with the purple hair and then the purple like suit and shoes, but honestly they really pulled it off. The, I guess like kind of like, well maybe I'm colorblind, but kind of like metallically purple right, that's yeah. in her suit. Um, I think they did a great job with that and overall just like again 10 out of 10. <laughs> Yeah, I do agree. So I, she is the record holder for tallest bunny mm -hmm. in the house. So, you know, she stands large and in charge on the <laughs> shelf, pretty much holding top, uh, you know, shelf presence. Mm -hmm. um, she's, like I said, sculpted very well. I like how the purple on her suit, I believe that you said, you know, it, you fear at one point that it would be too much purple mm -hmm. and the purple does fade into really nice dark tones on her bunny suit and yeah like i said likeness is right on point i like the horn everything is <laughs> <laughs> i mean of course it's Xion, so she comes with the horn so yeah, yeah. they did a really good job on her <laughs> and now for the final figure on the list this is where we break away from the freeing portion this is the binding bunny that i recently got this was kind of my holy grail um as soon as i saw this figure i was kind of like yeah i need to get it as a bunny i need to have it this is the akutsu kirara uh zetai junpaku maho shoujo uh binding one fourth bunny i just i just love this bunny so first off I, I know what you all see first, just right up front. Yes, her booba are enormous. I saw the I saw the warnings of the people on MFC saying that they couldn't believe how big that they were when they got her in the mail. And yes, they are. But I just want to say everything about this figure is awesome, even from the box. Uh, you know, the it's box beautiful. is really big and beautiful itself. <laughs> um, you know, about the figure. 
she's a dark-skinned girl. She's Brazilian. Um, she's a magical girl. <laughs> and there's so much detail put into the bunny figures by binding. So as you can see, she has her beautiful olive skin. She has her drill hair, which is very nicely sculpted. Um, I really, really love her bunny ears. It has that nice star pattern. And the whole thing is, you know, to that light blue theme, which is my favorite color. My favorite color is baby blue. And it has all of the best accent colors to me, which are white and black. Um, she, of course, has the, uh, the little strap around her thigh that's holding her magical girl wand. Her uh, tights are actually unique. Um, they're different than uh, like freeing tights. Mm -hmm. They have a different pattern. Um, they're also white. Uh, I really like how the shoes fade to like a lighter blue color. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, uh, the seat that she's holding and leaning on, um, that is like a really solid metal seat that she's holding. And she also has like her nails painted. There's just so much detail that went into this figure. Uh, putting the wings on for assembly was a little bit of a hassle because there's one that goes through her hair and into the back of her neck. But as long as you kind of get it into the right spot and keep pressing properly, it magically somehow flips into position. I don't know how it works, but she's a magical girl. Um, but yeah, and she's got huge wide hips and we go all day about this figure but i do love the face and everything like that uh like i said binding is just really on point with their bunnies and i think that that's why that we're both kind of kind of switching up and kind of focusing our attention more to the binding bunnies that come out because they are expensive they go up higher than freeing bunnies mm -hmm. on their aftermarket so yeah when they come out it's best to uh jump on them because re-release on them is not happening <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, that's what I was saying earlier. We do have, like, well, I have two Binding Bunnies, like my first two on pre-order. I have Mio Blue, which I know a lot of you have probably seen. And then more recently, um, Olivia came out. And I think they're going to look great together. I want them both. Um, I just think they're both beautiful. Of course, they're OC characters. And we're with Freeing, you get that kind of like, oh, my waifu and a one-fourth, one, like, whatever figure. But... I mean, at the same time, I, I do want to start, like, moving past just feeling like I need to just get characters that I know and, you know, giving a feel into, like, OC characters because they are sometimes some of the, like, coolest, like, beautifulest, beautifulest characters. <laughs> and, um, you know, they really they deserve, you right. know, a shelf space as well. Uh, also, <laughs> on my end... You know, it's not like I've completely outcasted the freeing bunnies. No. <laughs> I do want a fair amount. So the Altria Pendragon that mm -hmm. was announced at the recent uh, festivals, the ruler version from Fate Grand Order, mm -hmm. it is definitely bordering on a Holy Grail figure for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest Fate Grand Order fan. I've only watched uh, Fate Zero and Stay Night, but you know, I've seen that design for that character all over the place ever since it's been announced and I've been telling her like when it comes out for a bunny figure yes. which it inevitably will <laughs> we need to jump on it because the fate community will beat everyone else to it gotcha. and yeah I'm banking on that so gotta get that one there's also the Hestia bunny which uh, is my holy grail right one of them um but yeah wow we're we're gonna get her yeah. i'm gonna get her we've been I watching her. damn machi, machi. Yeah. Uh, and yeah we've, we've been loving that also personally for me i do also like the gene pso2 oh, bunny yeah. from ps from fantasy star online 2 i played fantasy star online 2 a lot i believe i probably still have a couple fantasy star online videos on my channel um but yeah played through that game i have a lot of nostalgic memories about it so probably gonna want to pick her up but yeah. Other than Hestia, uh, my dream bunny is coming out next month, my birthday month. Albedo, she's coming out next mm, month. And how could I forget? One thing, I've seen a lot of you guys calling her fat. All right, I love Albedo in Overlord. How she looks, been liking her a lot in season four <laughs> lately. But we all know freeing. I'm not mad that freeing. You know, likes to add, like I said before, some body. To their characters that woman is not fat that woman is looking good mm -hmm. all right she's looking healthy she's looking good 
But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. And the wings look fantastic. Yes, they're so nice. And I don't even care. I know, like, she would still look good if they took, like, the bunny ears off. But it's just a bunny suit. She gotta have bunny ears. She has horns all the time. Yeah. So and, uh, I'm excited. It's, it's funny because it's based in a video game world. So I just think about it. If you are on your character sheet make, equipping all of your accessories, Albedo normally has the horns as her race. So if you throw on some fucking bunny ears, they're just going to slap on on top. So the, the horns aren't going to go away. So I do think that it is a little bit funny and more endearing in that sense. Yeah, and Shion has her horn. Right. So, yeah, I think that, uh, that we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video now. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and get out of here now. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you next time for a figure haul video. Bye. See you later. <laughs>